works if allowed to flower will be great bee and pollinator plants. Chives are easy to grow in window boxes or the herb garden. They're especially popular with bumblebees and butterflies, such as small tortoise shells. Tall Angelica is a member of the carrot or parsley family. The flat flower umbels are perfect for short-tongued pollinators, such as hoverflies and other flies, as well as small solitary bees and wasps. Scabious make pretty butterfly-friendly plants. The lemon yellow flowers of this giant scabious come packed with pollen and are also a real magnet for bumblebees. There are lots of euphorbias for gardens. Many will attract a range of flies and smaller pollinators. But wear gloves if you're handling euphorbias as the milky sap can be an irritant. Phacelia is an easy to grow annual which can be sown anywhere in sun either on its own, or as a green manure, or perhaps part of a bee-friendly flower mix. The lavender blue flowers unfurl on long-lasting stems. Grow catmint in beds and borders. Combine with other cottage garden flowers such as hardy geraniums and lavender. The purple blue flowers are a real hit with bumblebees and honeybees in summer. Roses come in many shapes and colours. For pollinators though, choose single flower forms where the yellow, pollen-laden stamen in the centre are clearly visible. Holly is a tough native evergreen shrub or tree. Flowers are great for honeybees and other pollinators in spring. If you have a female plant, you'll also get berries in the autumn and winter which the birds will really love. Phython makes a great evergreen hedge or screen with yellow, orange or red berries. In the spring though, the masses of creamy flowers will positively buzz with all sorts of pollinated insects, big and small. On a sunny day in late winter, crocus are a handy larder for honeybees and early queen bumblebees. Plant them in pots or on mass in beds and borders in the autumn.